Welcome back. In this session, we will discuss dataset. The dataset that we are going to use for our project is the trip data from New York City Taxi Services. There are three different taxi hailing services in New York. The first one is Yellow Taxis, which are only allowed to pick up passengers from the inner city. The next one is Green Taxis. They, on the other hand, are allowed to only pick up passengers from the outer boroughs, but they can drop them anywhere in the city. Then we have the farm vehicles which operate throughout the city. There is a further classification of the for hire vehicles called high volume for hire vehicles. This includes taxis from companies which do more than 10,000 trips today. They are separated out because these companies have additional data reporting requirements and driver pay arrangements. All these type of taxis put together complete approximately a staggering 1 million trips per day. The New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission, or TLC, which is responsible for licensing the taxis, make all of this data available to public so that it can be used for any planning purposes of other services in the city. This data is also used by companies like Microsoft and Amazon for demo and training purposes. So you may have already come across this and this data is available in the URL at the bottom of the screen. So let's navigate to the link and take a look. So that URL opens up this page, and as you can see here, we got the trip record data here. And if you scroll down, you'll see the data from 2009 onwards up to 2023. The data is being updated every six months. So if you got to 2023, you'll see data up to November beyond now and February 2024. But I think the data up to January 2024 will be updated in February sometime. So at the moment, we only have data up to 2023 November, and the data starts from 2009 onwards. But you'll only see yellow taxi trip data because the green taxis were only introduced, I think around 2013. So that's somewhere in August here. Up to that point, it's only yellow taxis. And similarly, the for hire vehicles were introduced in 2015, and also the high volume for hire vehicles only came into existence from 2019 onwards. So you're not going to see all of the data throughout the period, but you are going to see yellow taxi data throughout the period. And also, if you scroll down, you'll see the data dictionaries and metadata. So let's open up one of them. So which is a green trips data dictionary here? It's quite a simple file format, and it gives you the columns in the file as well as descriptions for them. So this is the green taxi type data and the yellow taxi one is very similar, except that I think you won't have the trip type because all of the trips for the yellow taxis are street hails rather than dispatches. And also, if we go back, you will see the other two as well, which is the for hire and the high volume for hire. They have a very simple structure, only a few columns there. And apart from these trip data, we also have the lookup tables here. So as you can see, we got the taxi zones lookup table that contains information about the taxi zone itself. For example, the trip data you may see a taxi zone of 01, but when you go to the lookup table, you'll see which borough the taxi zone is and what is called and all of that descriptive information as well. And we've got some map files if you wanted to plot them in a map, and that's pretty much about the data. But I would encourage you to go and look at the factbook as well, because that's got some useful information. So if you go to 2020 Factbook, you can see the type of taxis and descriptions about them and also actually how many vehicles are running and the engine types and all of those things and how many trips they're doing per day. So there are some interesting facts about those if you're interested. And let's switch back to the trip data. So if you wanted to download one of the files, you'll just open the app and then you've got the URL here. If you just click on the URL, it's going to download the file for you. So some of the files here are really large. So I didn't take all of the data for our course. That's mainly because of two reasons. One, if you have huge files, whenever you rent something, it's going to take a long time to finish and you'll have to sit there and wait and your learning will slow down. I didn't want that to happen to you. And also secondly, some of the query engines, for example, serverless SQL pool charges you per query, per data processed. So you will be charged more if you have a lot of data. So I've got a reasonable amount of data for you to be able to play with. So what I have done is I've taken the green taxi data for 2021 and 2020. So 2020, as we said, actually we got the all 12 months worth of being taxi data and 2021, we got the seven months from January to July. 
So I've got that data and that is what is available for our course and I will make sure that data is available as part of the course resources. But in case you are interested in exploring more data or looking at data from different taxi companies, please come here and click on the links, download the data for yourselves and you can play with that.